Well, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm Nina Giovanni from Ilya State University. Uh, I'm the head of the Quality Assurance Office of the university. Uh, my university is um, uh, the third largest university in, in the country, in Georgia. So we are <coughs> up to 17,700 students large. Um, and um, we have um, different fields in the university, starting from um, uh, humanities, social sciences, um, um, business administration, uh, medicine, and law. Um, actually, this is my first mobility, of uh, staff mobility, um, and uh, my first experience. Um, I decided to uh, I decided to um, participate in, in in the mobility to Bordeaux Montagne University because um, it specifically said uh, the call was for the quality assurance um, uh, direction um, and I also looked through the um, website of the New York University to learn more about uh, the university. And I saw that um, the university is approximately the same, uh, has the same number of students, um, uh, so it's as big as we are. Um, it has quite the same fields uh, of study that we cover at our university, so I thought that um, this university is quite comparable to my home university, to Ilya State University, and um, maybe there are some um, some uh, uh, mechanisms and systems in the university that uh, that that might be um, um, appropriate uh, and um, uh, well fitted for our uh, university as well. So uh, maybe sharing of experience would be more um, uh, beneficial uh, from that point of view. Um, I've been here for 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 a week. Um, uh, this is the fifth day of my stay, um, and the fifth day of the of the mobility. Um, uh, every day was uh, very well planned uh, by the um, international office, um, and I'm grateful uh, uh, to the office for that um, um, uh, for for their commitment and dedication. Very well planned. Um, program uh, of mobility and they offered me the opportunity to talk to different um, different uh, people in different departments uh, that uh, offer different services to students so I had the opportunity to um, uh, to get to know the areas of services how they're offered um, how they work with students uh, what uh, what are their um, priorities um, and something like this yeah the, um, the program was perfect uh, well organized very well organized um, the key moments that I learned um, about the the university is um, <clears throat> uh, well I would highlight the uh, the international office and their contribution to uh, to the university um, um, teaching, learning, and uh, educational processes in the university um, because uh, th they are very much involved in the internationalization of, uh, of, of the processes of academic programs. They're working with international students and quite a lot of international students come to uh, Bordeaux University. <clears throat> um, so, and they take care of the, uh, uh, they help academic program heads um, and departments to internationalize their programs. So, and this is very much uh, what we do at uh, at Ilya State University as well. Um, uh, so it's uh, the, uh, one of the priorities would be double degree programs or joint degree programs, student exchanges, uh, staff exchanges like this, uh, or faculty exchanges. So it's uh, a very important role um, and, and a huge contribution of the international office into the um, into the life in 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 Bordeaux University. One other um, service that I was very much impressed was. Um, 
uh, <clears throat> student uh, life on campus and student social services that they offer, not only social services, but um, um, they offer um, health care, they offer um, sustainability projects for students uh, to raise awareness uh, among the students. Um, um, yeah, and uh, absolutely. Uh, I was impressed that they work with the social workers um, at the university. Um, with at the university and outside the university to cover the needs of the students um, and the library. Uh, library was absolutely impressive. Uh, the collection of unique books um, in the library that is accessible to students uh, um, and to faculty, ob obviously. Um, and uh, the the library buildings and uh, spaces in the library, how they are organized. And um, what I was very much impressed was that uh, the library spaces are organized um, to meet every possible need of students. Like if a student needs to study alone or they, they need to study in groups, um, they have spaces for that uh, very well um organized spaces and generally the campus is very well organized it's very spacious um, um very well uh organized buildings uh yeah it, that was very impressive yeah absolutely and i would strongly recommend to um my colleagues um uh, at delia state university or internationally to if there is an opportunity to uh, participate in staff mobility at the university of bordeaux monte and to to actually take that opportunity and uh, um because this is a very this is exclusive uh, experience, you know. Uh, and the way that uh, the the process is organized, as I said, uh, the the way the program is designed, the mobility program is designed, um, and uh, the way that the uh, that the f um, staff, the university staff approaches um, um, uh, this kind of experience is is is, is unique. I, I think, and it is very positive. Um, so, what I j just wanted to to highlight is that um, they did their best um, at the international office to actually develop a program that would fit my I interests, and I I think this is very important. Um, right? Um, they even they even uh, put and accommodated a meeting that was not initially in the program because they they understood that I was interested in some areas of student services and I had a wonderful interview um, yesterday um, about um, um, about uh, the issue the, the, the connection between schools and high schools and the university and what is done to attract students and to make them interested high school students to make them interested in the university this is amazing how how it is done and how it is organized um, and i learned that uh, high school students so uh, uh, can uh, can attend when their own campus they can attend different classes and to see um, how it is to be a student. So this is uh, unique. Um, and, but this meeting was not planned from the beginning, but the international office understood that I would be very much interested in learning about that and they accommodated it. So um, I am very grateful uh, for that. And uh, again, uh, the way that the um, um, the organization of the mobility is approached uh, by the staff in, in the university is amazing and exclusive, I guess. Um, I just, just again, I want to say that this is an amazing university and I guess uh, um, it is a privilege to study in this university and it is a privilege to to be um, to participate in staff mobility um, as well and to learn from colleagues um, uh, and to share uh, experiences um, as I said um, your experience at your at this university is exclusive um, and um, 
everybody will be will consider it a privilege uh, to be engaged in the mobility um, for one week to shadow and observe uh, the processes uh, that you provide at this university and there is a lot to learn from you